Three, two, one. Wow! We make some boxes here, man. Whoa! Strong, we got Max. We got a little kid's dirt bike, man. We got Adam. Whoa! He is the strong Australia guy, man. Whoa! So what we're doing here, let's explain here. So we had a previous video, we're talking about putting lipos and stuff and measuring. And what's happened, this is the following up video, man. Eh? So we actually got the cell holders here. So we got different types of cell holders. The standard one, just to see the configuration here, which is kind of like uh, what the Suron bikes have at the moment. And then we got an offset cell holder. We can, we can fit a lot more cells here. So I'll just let my friend say some words here. <laughs> so uh, what's happening? So just explain the difference and how many cells we can fit with the different cell holder, the offset yeah. one. So standard, standard cell holders, standard pack, takes 180 cells. Mm. Um, standard layout is 16 series, 11 parallel. Which is in uh, like 32 amp hour battery. 32 amp hour using the PF cells. 60 volts. 60 volt nominal, yeah. Yeah. We can change that layout of 180 cells to 18S 10P using a higher capacity battery. Mm. Um, different cell holders. Different voltage, different thing. Or we can change different cell holders and probably get an extra 30 odd cells in there so 30 extra cells inside just because you're changing like just orientation of the cell holders and stuff right packs the packs the cells together so makes the pack a lot more dense mm -hmm. so then you know you've got unrestricted so you can go if you're 208 cells you can go 16s 13p or something like that we'll get an extra couple of rows across the top and there's two bricks so and you can still using the original uh, BMS the original BMS is 16S um, but something like this like an aftermarket 16S BMS is going to fit in there nicely and this thing can pump out 200 amp peak so it's crazy man yeah. look at the power section of this man wow beautiful man and the bottom one here is see the resistors yeah the resistors actually do the balancing look this thing here on top is the shunt Wow, beautiful BMS, man. That's a pretty nice one. Yeah. Right. So, and then we're actually looking here, we're like, oh, hang on. I got many lipos here that I work, with, you know, with people here, and then they're like, oh, can you fix my lipo batteries? And then Adam look, hey, they are nice little ones, man. Hang on. <laughs> Just show what we figure out here by accident. <laughs> a good accident. So we're like, oh, hang on. We're looking here. It just fit. And guess what? We've got more cells inside this, if you look. So we actually managed to fit 12 cells inside, 12 bricks inside, right? 12 bricks, yeah. So which gives you perfectly like what we want, which is... 18 is 21 amp hour. Yeah. So. Plus using lipos, what's the difference, so like advantage of using lipos instead of 18650s? 18650s, they're more like reliable and stuff, you know? Like there's a lot of labor like you know like going here spot welding with lipo cells you can go crazy high discharge you can use super powerful controllers here like this one here the asi at the back 8000 here Ooh, so this got some serious power here man so we're like yeah we might need lipo for some stupid stuff like that so it's good to have two options we can do 18650s we can do lipos so um tell us about the lmx battery here as well so the LMX battery, we're using the Sony VTC6. Mm. It's uh, two 8S bricks of 10P. Uh, together it'll be 16S, 10P, 31 amp hour with this BMS. We actually managed to fit some uh, LiPo batteries inside the LMX, but yeah. there's no space for the battery case here, right? So it's no. just like, just the cells inside there. Yeah. We kind of put some like the, the original lid that holds the battery case. Yeah. It works, it works. It works. It works, but they're a bit exposed, a bit dangerous for off-roading. So. Yeah, no no mud, nothing liquid, there's no, yeah, it's a bit yeah. too exposed, too so naked, right? Reliability, security, um, LiPo, safety. Yeah, LiPo, there's really powerful, but look like this one here, they puff, man. They puff and that's bye-bye for the sales, man. So that's the reason why people, oh yeah, 18650, more reliable. This you can get like a big fire, man. Yeah. This one, just more reliable. And from the business perspective, from the business perspective, he doesn't want to be liable for like fires and stuff. So it's like, fires, no. no, no fire. So it's hard to sell solution with LiPos. So we just go with a, like 18650. It's just more, you know, like business safe. 
<laughs> so here, like, it's just cutting a lot of nickel strips here. So it's fun doing uh, batteries, right? Good fun. Good yeah, fun. good fun. Very, very, very active. Not boring at all, right? Not boring, no, no. No, no, no. So here, like, how many welds you did in this little battery here? We did, let's check here. 564 welds. In one battery, one just battery. here. Eight. I was like, go six. Eight go, cells. Go six dots per cell, it's just to be safe. It's a dirt bike. It's gonna be jumping, jumping, jumping. Six dots, yeah, pretty good, man. Because you need to think there's here and then there's the other side here too. <laughs> All right, so what else are we gonna talk? I think we're done, right, man? Yeah. You need to go and check your kids, right? Yeah, man. Go for, <laughs> go, go for a ride. Ah. All righty, man. We come back with another video later. I don't know, maybe like in a month, yeah. should, depending on the kids. <laughs> I'm writing video next. Yeah. <laughs> more action, right? We need more action. Zero power, man. LMX power. Gas, gas, Leo. Kids bike, man. So now your kid can keep up with you on the track, man. That's the idea. Yeah.